Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and today I have for you a nice wrist-free yoga sequence. This is great if maybe you struggle with wrist pain or being on the hands and knees quite a lot as we often are in yoga. And so this little video today is just to take the pressure off the wrists and build some strength in that lower body instead. So when you're ready, come join me on your mat and we'll begin with a nice strong asana, a chair pose. So bringing the toes together, the feet together, as we inhale, bend the knees and sink the hips back, sweeping the arms up into our chair pose. And breathe. Gently pulling the belly and ribs here. Core is engaged. And we're tucking that tailbone down. We're not sticking the butt out, tuck that tailbone in, pulling the belly in. Sitting in our chair a little bit lower. One more breath. Exhale, we can gently come back to standing. Inhale, bend the right knee and guide the foot to the ankle, calf, or the inner thigh of the left leg coming into our tree pose. So maybe we're down here, maybe we're here, or perhaps we have the foot squeezing into that inner thigh. And finding a point in the room to focus on for your balance here. And if you fall out of any of the asanas today, Finding your way back in slowly. One more breath. On your next exhale, gently releasing that right foot without popping it down on the mat if we can. Bending into the left knee slightly and crossing that right leg over the top. Perhaps those right toes come to rest on the mat just beside the left foot. Or maybe we can hook that right foot round the back of the left calf coming into our eagle pose and we can keep the hands together in prayer here stay focused on that point in the room for your balance sinking those hips down a little bit more nice deep breath staying as you are i'm just going to turn myself around One more breath here. On your next exhale, again, without dropping that right foot down, if we can, gently unbind those legs and take the right leg back into our warrior one. So the, the body comes parallel to the ground. We can have a little bend in this standing leg. And tucking the chin into your chest so the back of the neck is long here. One more breath. Exhaling gently, bend into that left knee and drop the right foot down, coming into a high lunge. We can sweep the arms up. We can maybe widen the stance a little. We can just walk the feet out wider so that we have a nice, strong lunge. Belly and ribs are pulling in again here. And we have a nice bend in the front knee. One more breath. Exhale, we'll open it up to our warrior two. I'll switch around so you guys can see. The hips come in line with the long side of the mat. Arms are parallel to the ground. And we gaze at the middle finger on the left hand. One more breath. Exhale, we can gently release the arms. Ooh, come back to stand at the top of the mat and shake out those legs. Ooh. 
feeling that heat build in the body. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So we'll come back to our chair, bring the toes together, inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips back, come to your chair. Sinking into our chair a little bit more. One more breath. Exhaling, coming back up to standing. We can guide the left foot to our tree pose, whether that's on the calf, the ankle, or the inner thigh. A nice deep breaths here, finding that point in your room to focus on for your balance. One more breath. Exhaling gently, releasing that left foot, bending into the right knee and crossing that left leg over the right. We can bring those toes to rest on the mat by the side of the foot. Or maybe that left foot hooks round the back of the right calf, coming into our eagle pose. Focusing on that point in the room. And then staying as you are, I'm just going to turn myself around again before we come into our next asana. Oh, strong legs today. One more breath. On your next exhale, gently releasing, lengthen through that standing leg and taking the left leg back into our warrior three. Maybe one side's a little bit wobblier compared to the other, so we'll just take our time. Remember, we can have a bend in the standing leg for a bit more balance Oop, and stability. One more breath. Exhaling gently, Whew. dropping that back foot down, bending into the front knee and coming into our warrior one, or into our high lunge. Deep breaths. One more breath. Exhale, opening it up to our warrior two. We can bend back into that front knee. Arms are parallel with the shoulders. And we're gazing at the middle finger of the right hand. One more breath here. Exhaling, we can gently release. We can come back to stand at the top of our mats. Whew. Shake out those legs. Maybe shake out the arms a little bit here as well. And there we have it, our nice hands-free yoga sequence today. If you want to keep going, you can replay this video and do the sequence again a couple more times. Maybe to just lengthen your yoga practice a little bit more today if you feel like it. <laughs> Thanks again for joining me today. If you liked the video, please leave me a little like, perhaps a little comment in the comment section below, and please subscribe to my channel for more free yoga content. Thanks again for joining me today. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.